Even if humans aren't doing it intentionally, they're still killing up to 15 snakes per year on these roads. 15 is way too many for sure. Like that's gonna cause our population of snakes to, to plummet pretty quickly. Now, Kill Bear is installing fencing throughout the park to funnel the snakes to a safe crossing zone called an eco-passage. So the snake fence is designed to corral the snakes as they're attempting to cross the road and send them towards the eco-passage here. And we have a antenna right here, which is a passive reader, which reads the microchips of the snakes. And then the uh, snake goes over the antenna and then on down through the eco-passage across to the other side of the road. It has an open grate on top to let the sun shine through perfect for snakes who love basking in the sunlight. This camera is set up so that researchers can get a look at their handiwork in action. The camera trap is designed to take a photo once a minute, day and night, and hopefully it'll pick up any rattlesnakes or box snakes or other species that are moving back and forth. The eco passages are working. Since they've been built, they're down to only two rattlesnake road kills per year. The key to the Massasauga rattlesnake survival is getting humans on board to respect their space and ultimately to leave them alone.